Hi everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AbWeb and Aviation Consumer. I'm with uh, Corbin Halloran in the cockpit of the Premier Edition. Now, this is one of the latest diesel conversions using the Continental CD-135. Uh, and it's a conversion of a restart Cessna 172. This happens to be a 1997 model, and uh, Premier is beginning to market these things. Uh, Corbin and I will come back uh, to talk about this particular airplane, uh, but first here's Art Spangler with some of the details on the program. How we first got introduced into to the conversion market is we've been a Diamond Twin Star dealer since 2006. Originally they came out with the Tealert engine, the 1.7, and then as they started get to get it up to a TBR, Premier started doing the conversions from the 1.7 to the 2.0 Centurion engine. We, uh, we've done quite a few of those conversions on the Twin Stars. And then we had uh, people tell us interest of the 172 getting the 2.0 engine. So we did the first conversion of that. And when we advertised it and used the major advertising that we do, uh, in the first 12 days, we had people from as far as 18 different countries contact us and say they weren't ready for it immediately, but in the next 12 months, they would be ready for it. What the conversion involves is, a, at first, it's a custom kit for the Cessna aircraft from the 172F right up to the 172S. So when the kit comes to us, it has engine, FADEC, propeller and it has everything firewall forward and the biggest thing is is to install this kit since it is liquid cooled it is um, an injected engine and it's also turbocharged but the battery has to be replaced from the firewall to behind the baggage compartment so we're able to go ahead and look at the aircraft right from bare bones to the bottom so we're able to actually work in and refurbish the whole interior of the aircraft because the whole base floor panel is lifted up instead of just looking through some small inspection holes. Our first airplane on our demonstration airplane we completely re-equipped it with the exception of the autopilot. It has the original KAP-140 autopilot. Everything else is all brand new Garmin avionics. The avionics are under a two-year warranty, and the engine conversion is under a two-year warranty. So we have the latest and the greatest of Garmin avionics installed in this panel. And uh, back in the cockpit with Corbin. Uh, Corbin, tell me a little bit about the uh, equipment in this airplane. Is this what's going to be typical? Uh, it, it is fairly well equipped. Yeah, this is our premier edition, and it has uh, the latest of ADS-B uh, coupled up with the uh, G500 uh, multi-display there so this would be the premium package um, for someone who wanted to do the STC kit on the engine and the avionics so uh, this is you know got every safety enhanced device that uh, any pilot would want to have in the aircraft. Do you think the core of the flight training market is going to want equipment like this or are they going to want something with steam gauges or something in between? I think that's left up to each individual operator um, obviously more safety is going to you know have the ADS-B uh, along to provide the traffic as we're seeing right now. We can keep our eyes uh, outside and also have the third eye in, inside. Now uh, we're at uh, 2,000 feet here. We're south of Venice, Florida along the Gulf Coast and I've got to throttle back to 68 percent power, 4.7 gallons. That's probably a, a typical training setting. I would think so, yeah. Yeah, that's that's typically what you'd be doing. You see your, your uh, indicated airspeed of 100, so you want to be in the maneuvering speed for that type of operation. And uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, on a cross-country, you're going to run it at 80%, so if we run it up to 80, what should we expect to see? Oh, it will be about 5.5 to 5.7, up at the higher altitude. Uh, now, due to weight and structure, the airplane is somewhat fuel-limited. What does it carry? and typically what does what kind of range does that give you because you're getting so much better fuel economy in this yeah. well if you can if you can hold it for eight hours it'll fly for eight hours if the tanks topped off at 44 uh, usable gallons okay and uh so if we're looking at uh right around 110 knots uh true that's going to be close to 900 miles you can go to texas so without a problem yeah pretty good range okay well thanks for the demo you're welcome Paul Bertarelli reporting for AbWeb. Thanks for watching.